So the first look I'm doing is for 6th graders, and I'm not the biggest fan, I don't really think 6th graders need that much makeup, or like any makeup at all, but in 6th grade I know I wore like a tiny bit, but if you like, if you're in 6th grade and you plan to wear a low makeup, so you know, don't overdose. So I'm just going to show you what I makeup I think is acceptable for 6th grade, because you definitely don't need that much. Okay, so I'm taking my Maybelline Big Eyes. This is definitely like a starter mascara because it doesn't have that, it doesn't give you that much, which is really good. So I'm just going to put that on my eyelashes. I'm going to use the upper, the upper lashes one. And if you want, you can um, curl your eyelashes, but I, don't, I, I didn't when I was in sixth grade. And now I'm just going to do the, use this and use the lower lashes. Okay. And what I did is I usually, sometimes on, um, I'd either wear just a chapstick or lip gloss. And um, I think recommend using baby lips if you're going to do a chapstick because it still gives tints to your lips a little bit so you have a little bit of color. And or um, you can do lip gloss. And my favorite one is the Buxom. And it's kind of like more on the expensive side, but it makes your lips look really good. So I'm just going to put that on. And it lasts for a few hours. In sixth grade, I didn't do this, but if you, like, I know, like, sixth grade is definitely kind of like a beginning of puberty for a lot of people, like, for pimples and stuff. So if you want to, you can use concealer. And I definitely recommend, um, I definitely recommend Bare Minerals Concealer. I, myself, use, um, the dry concealer and the, um, it's, kind of like a waxy concealer I use them together and these are pretty much gone I'm not wearing it right now but um yeah so this is my makeup for sixth graders if you plan to wear makeup at all and okay so now I'm going to do the seventh grader makeup look there's definitely more makeup but still like very natural so yeah okay let's just get started so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to be taking my BB cream magic skin beautifier and I'm just going to be putting that on my hand that's about enough it might even be a little too much and I'll do that and just that all over my face and this is like a, this BB cream like primes your face and also has SPF so it's really good so that's all I have so I'm just gonna and blend it into my neck. Okay, so I'm done with the um, BB cream, and this is actually really good because it also primes your eyes. So if I'm not putting on eyeshadow for this look, but if you want to put on eyeshadow, you can use the BB cream to prime your eyes too, which is really great. So this primes your face, which is really great, too. So, um, then I'm just going to, um, put it, um, my Bare Minerals Concealer on. And it's like a waxy type thing, which actually I like, I love, because it works really well on me. So then, I'm just gonna... So then I'm just going to blend that in with the fingers, and you, know, you can also use a brush, but I'm just going to be using my fingers for now. Okay, so that, then, I, okay, so, understand for me, I have really bad, bad under eye circles, see. And even though this is a great coverage of them, but I also like to use my Bare Minerals Dry Concealer. 
So then I'm going to take my brush, my concealer brush, and just dip it in. And, yeah, and just put on my eyes. I think it's actually well. So then I'm done with the Bare Minerals, and I'm going to add a little bronzer, but just a little bit. So then I'm going to take this. So I'm going to be taking this big fluffy brush and taking Bare Minerals, and I'm in that my color is Warmth. And so I'm not going to be putting on that much. It's just a little bit to add a little skin color. And then you're in... A little bit, rub it in, and then just do kind of like a circle. One, two, and like do squiggly on your face. One, two, and then you go out there, there, and then do one, two, one, two, and that's that gives you enough color for the day. So um, then I'm just gonna add some mascara, and I picked a different mascara for this look. I picked the Cher Moi mascara for two dollars called it's called Goody Two Shoes. And this one definitely gives off more mascara, on like from, and I like that. And if you want, you you can use this mascara for it. So I'm just gonna. And if you want, you can cut your lashes. I I didn't do that in seventh grade. I didn't really start cutting my eyelashes till eighth grade, but barely then. Uh, yeah. Okay, so then I'm done with my upper lashes, and usually what I do is I switch to my other Cher Moya, which is a different brush, and it doesn't give us off as much, so my bottom eyelashes don't look weird, but you can use the same one if you want, but I'm going to switch, because this one has a different brush, and I feel like that's better for bottom lashes. Okay, I'm going to say. Okay. So then, oh, I got my mascara in my eye. That's why my eyes like watering up right now. But um, and if you want, I didn't realize this, but I'm I sometimes use a toothbrush and to come out my eyebrows to make them go all the same way. Don't worry, this is clean, and I just brush it out to make sure they all go the same way. And if you want, you can fill them in too. But I didn't start doing that this year at least I didn't really even know what that was so yeah I didn't really get into like much makeup until like eighth grade but I still didn't really use a lot then either but no. okay so this is the last makeup tutorial this is the eighth grade one and eighth grade was definitely the year when I got into makeup and stuff so this one definitely has a lot more but it's not like like crazy it's not I'm not gonna look, you're not gonna look like Lady Gaga by the end you're gonna look it's gonna look natural and look and very pretty so, yeah. So, the makeup I'm using is a little more expensive, but while I'm doing it, I'm also going to recommend you some from, like, Walmart and stuff. So, it's not, like, too expensive. So, um, first I'm going to start off with priming my face and eyes. So, I'm going... Oh, God. First, I'm going to be taking my, um, Shadow Insurance, um... Dub Too Faced, and I actually really like this. And I'm also going to be taking, also going to be taking my Prime to Poreless by Too Faced, and that's for my face primer. So, just do that. And the only thing I don't really like about it is it smells really weird, <laughs> but it works really well. Okay, so. So that's enough for my face. And um, I also, there's definitely a lot of face primers. Well, I don't have one. I have. I also have my Bare Minerals face primer. I have this, and this probably isn't too much since it's just a sample size. So, 
And the face primer I just used, I got for free, actually, because, um, I have the Sephora, um, I'm a Sephora member, and if you get enough points, then you can get free stuff, and I got this for free. And I wanted to be matching with my eye primer. So now I'm going to be taking my Too Faced, um, eye primer, and I'm not using too much, because you don't really need that much. I'm taking this much. And... And yes, I do know I look ridiculous. It's not good. Okay, and um, now I'm just gonna rub it in right under my eyebrows, under my eyes, gotta get it everywhere. And um, as a face primer and an eye primer, what you can also do is you can use BB cream because BB cream also primes your skin. So you can do that, and you can also use that as your foundation. I'm not using that as my foundation today though. And for eye primer, you can also use um, this Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, it was about five dollars from Walmart. Okay, so oh, cool. Okay, so I got that. So now I'm going to be doing the eye make. I like to do eye makeup first and then face makeup. Rocco, you're messing up my bed. Okay. Um. So yeah. Um. I'm going to be taking the Too Faced eyeshadow palette. I'm literally obsessed with Too Faced right now because it's like not too expensive but it like I mean it's kind of expensive but it, it like it works really well. So um I'm going to be taking to be taking my eyeshadow brush. I'm going to be taking the day and I'm going to be taking heaven and this is just a yellow a creamish color. It's going to be putting that. I'm going to be using that all over my eye and to my Eyelid. And gotta get that all over. And this is a very natural look, so it's not like crazy. Okay, so that's good on the heaven part. Now I'm going to be taking. I'm going to be taking. Now I'm going to be taking my crease brush I got from Icing, and I'm going to be using the Velvet Revolver color, and it's just a light brown color, and I'm going to be getting the crease brush all over it. Then I'm just going to be putting it on my outer corner and partially in my crease. And I'm going to... And that looks really good. And um, now I'm going to be using taking the um, Sexpresso, and I'm going to just darken it up a little bit, but barely using any, just a little bit. Okay. And see it on the other eye. Okay. And now I'm going to be blending that with my blending brush from Sephora. Oh crap! With my blending brush from Sephora. Brush and it is number 27. It's gonna be blending that so it looks natural. Now I'm gonna be taking my smudge brush because in the eighth grade I wasn't allowed to wear eyeliner. Plus, you don't need eyeliner in eighth grade. I don't, and I'm not even good at eyeliner either. So that's pretty blended. And I'm gonna be taking the Sexpresso again, and I'm actually I'm taking more, and I'm taking the smudge brush is like an eyeliner brush. It's really cool. And you just take that and you use it as eyeliner. And that looks like really natural, but I'm just going to make it a little bit more even. And I'm only going to my lash line because I think that looks better. And I just messed up, but whatever. Oh, good. And if you ever mess up, what I recommend getting, what you can do is you can just blend it, and, and you're all good. And it still kind of looks messed up, but it's all good. Um, so yeah, I'm done with the eyeshadow then. And what I recommend, um, I recommend this Maybelline eyeshadow palette. It has lots of neutral colors, and it works really, it like, it's pretty good. Like, it's for, like $5, so it's pretty good. And... 
And now I'm going to be taking my eyelash curler from Kiss. And I'm just going to curl the eyelashes. Okay. And now I'm just going to be taking some mascara. I'm going to be using my Their Real Mascara. It's a sample size, but what you can use for mascara instead is a Cherimoya mascara for $2. Or a Big Eyes Mascara for like $5. Uh, this was a sample so I got for free. But it works really well. It makes your eyelashes so big. I'm just going to put my head to the side a little bit. I'm just using a little bit today. Because I don't really need that much. I'm not going really to use that. I need that much stuff today. I'm just putting a little bit on. Okay. And, yeah, I'm done with the eyelashes, and I'm not doing my bottom today because they already look dark from yesterday. And now I'm going to be taking, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm using my 88 eyeshadow palette, but uh, you can use anything for eyeshadow, really. And I'm just going to be taking my, a, a different eyeshadow brush because I feel like this is better for filling in eyebrows. And I'm just going to make it a little darker. I feel like it makes it look better. I'm using this dark brown color, so I feel like they look gray, which is really weird. So, yeah. Okay, so, I'm done with the eye makeup and eyebrow makeup, and I think it looks really good. And, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to do face makeup and concealer first. Yeah, concealer first. But for foundation, what you can use is, and concealer, you can use this for concealer. Um... Yeah, I mean it works pretty. Um, or you can also use this, which is actually like it primes your face too, which is really good. But I'm going to be using my bare minerals, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to be taking my um wet concealer from Bare Minerals and just you know getting some of it on my finger and. And please up here. And then I actually like really love this. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend that in. Okay, and then I'm just gonna see that already looks really good, but like seems to be taking my um my, my dry concealer too from Bare Minerals, and I'm using a summer bisque, which is really good. And my stuff out before I did this. I'm just gonna. Is he like a pretty much one? And the other side too. And this this eye is a little more difficult. I don't know why, but it is. And so yeah. a little bit more. It just it's more difficult. I don't know why. But yeah. And so I'm gonna be taking my foundation. I'm gonna be putting the original in medium beige. I'm going to be using and and I'm going to be taking my mat and just be using that and I got my brush on the floor and I will fall over if I get it right now so I'm just going to use the same brush doesn't matter, don't judge me so now yeah, um, I'm going to be taking some bronzer and I'm just gonna be using a little bit. And what I like to do is to add a little bit and just gonna circle like a swiggly, 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 swiggly. You can see it while you're doing it. And I'm gonna be taking some um, blush, and I'm actually I'm using my angled brush. Oh, so fancy. And I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, and I'm going to just be using that. And I'm be like, just putting a little bit because you don't want to love you like crazy. And is that it? No, it's not. And then I'm going to be taking my trans, my, um, veil. And, by the way, what I really like about the bare, the uh, BB cream, the, um, L'Oreal BB cream, is that it, um, it just, it's very, it, like, you don't have to do any of the stuff. You can just use that and you're done. I mean, I guess. I use them after it, but you don't have to. I'm just going to take my veil. And just, I love the veil because it smells so good. I don't know why, but it does. And I really like your minerals because, like, it's, it's so good for your skin. Like, it doesn't clog your pores or anything. It's just so good for it. So, yeah. I guess I'm done and I'm done, and yes, and 
definitely started using more makeup in 8th grade than I did in 7th and 6th grade. So, and if you want now, you can add lip gloss. I'm not going to, though, because I'm about to go to breakfast. So, and I don't want to get lip gloss on my food. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, bye. Hmm. <laughs>